Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about marriage and medicine. The episode was cute. You know, it wasn't anything eventful, but, you know, cute nonetheless. Um, let's get into it. I enjoyed marriage and medicine more than I enjoyed um, um, Potomac. Girl, we'll talk about Potomac when we get to Potomac, okay? Anyways, so I thought it was funny when the episode started off. Heavenly's wig, Doctor Heavenly's wig, was slipping off. No, not, not slipping off. No, it fell off. <laughs> okay, it fell off her and the new girl. I don't know. No shade to Doctor Alicia. Is that her name? Um, this is the second episode. Why is Doctor Alicia on the show? Okay. Um. Maybe things will pick up with Dr. Alicia later in the episode, but so far, I don't see the purpose of her a purpose of her being on the show. I really don't. Um, Phaedra and Qua, they meet up at Qua at Phaedra's house. I thought it was really cute how they greeted each other, dancing and having a good time. Um, Qua is seeing someone from what we saw. He looked like he fine. I don't know. You know, this is the thing. I have come to this conclusion. <clears throat> If it's the beginning stages of someone dating, I don't feel the need to, to know them because it's new. Girl, they could be dating today and then, girl, call it quits tomorrow. I mean, that could be with anything. But if it's not an actual title to the relationship, then I don't feel the need to have to know who the girls are dating. That's for Uber, Quad, anybody. And once it becomes boyfriend and girlfriend, then, girl, I'm going to need you to want, I'm going to need you to try to bring him onto the show. That's the thing. Because on one hand, I'm not going to lie. I understand if you don't want to be a part of the show. Because you can't make anyone want to be on the show. But it's also like that's a part of the show. I was thinking about this with the whole Uber stuff from uh, Real Housewives of New York. Like, what if the people don't want to be a part of the show? What if Quad or anybody else, anyone on reality TV, period, is dating someone or maybe even married to someone? And they say, look, I, I'll, you know, you could do the show, but I don't want to be on TV. Should that be a disqualification for them to be on the show? I don't know. I've been thinking about that lately. I don't know. Because ta I've talked a lot of mess about the girls and their partners being on the show. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Anyways, um, <clears throat> Phaedra tells Quad about Toya letting the girls know that Quad got a DUI. I don't know what it sounds like to me. What it sounds like to me, correct me if I'm wrong, Quad, <laughs> girl, she got a little bit of money and she got it dismissed. <laughs> okay? That's what it sounds like to me. Is that what it sounds like to y'all? Listen, this is the thing about the whole Toya and Quad stuff. The girls, they play dirty. Quad played dirty last year. Quad, I thought that was like below, girl. That was like, girl, Quad took it to, girl took it to the devil, honey. When they tried to accuse Toya of setting up a break-in, I said, ooh, girl, y'all going real low. I thought that was low. But it also goes back to season one. I, I haven't finished watching season one. I think I still have like a few episodes and plus the reunion. I don't think they ever really saw it for Quad, anybody in the group. They always treated Quad like the ghetto girl from Nutbush, Tennessee. <laughs> Wherever Quad from. So I don't know. I, I, I can't. It's, it's been too many seasons. I, all I know is that to, Toya and Quad are like oil and water. Like, they just don't mix. I think they, they go along to get along, but it's always going to be some tension. And then remember when Quad also got her divorce, Toya was trying to get Quad off the show. So it's just not Quad having an issue with Toya. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, girl, it is what it is. Like I said, I wasn't mad at Toya for mentioning um, Quad having a DUI, girl. That's what, that's what their relationship is going to be. Each, each season, what, the other person is going to try to one-up the other person. Um, Letitia and Dr. G. You know what I don't like? 
I don't like the fact that they call her Sweet Tea. You know what I think? Hey, Sweet Tea. <laughs> if you still watch my videos. Um, I think that Sweet Tea, Letitia, I think that they're laughing at Letitia and not laughing with Letitia. I think Letitia is the butt of the joke. And it's actually kind of sad. Even with them putting her name as Sweet Tea on the screen. Girl, why don't you call it? That's a grown... Baby, I know she says her nickname is Sweet Tea. Now, why are y'all really putting on the screen Sweet Tea? <laughs> call that lady Letitia. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Y'all think she coming back next? I know. It's too, I know it's early in the season, but so far, like, I just like I just feel bad for her. I really do, especially when she engages with the other women, because I know they are. I know they wearing that girl low. Whenever she leaves, I, I I I can almost guarantee you, the private conversations that Doctor Heavenly and Doctor Jackie probably have about that lady, I'm sure they wear her low, girl. And I know Phaedra and Quad wear her low. I don't know, but I think. And I know Dr. Simone, as much as she used to try to correct Toya, I know she wears sweet tea low too. Anyways, so Letitia is stressed out about the wedding. Girl. I'm not a big person. Like, I just think what this is just for me. This is not for everybody else. I think weddings are dumb. Girl. I think everybody should just go to the courthouse. Unless you just got the money to blow. And you ain't got to save money and take out loans and all that stuff. Now, girl, girl, I guess go for what you know. But, and I guess Letitia and Dr. G have the money, or Dr. G got the money, because he said he paid 90%. So Ms. Thing said, I'm helping you pay for the wedding. And then he said, how much, what percentage am I paying? And when he said 90, girl, 10%. I said, bitch, what you paying for the napkins? <laughs> Can't be paying. Girl, if he's paying for 90%, <laughs> if he's paying 90% of the wedding, and Letitia is paying 10% of the wedding, I said, girl, she must be buying, she must be buying a napkins in a place. <laughs> yeah. 10% out of 10% out of 100 ain't nothing, girl. I mean, it's something, but it just sounds like you wanted to say, <laughs> in my opinion, it just sounds like Letitia wants to be able to say that I helped pay for the wedding. I could see if Dr. G said I'm paying for 70 and you paying for 30. Or I'm paying for 60 and you paying for 40. Then I'm like, okay, but girl, at 90%, girl, Dr. G might as well go ahead and pay for the whole wedding. Girl, I said, Miss Thing is <laughs> Miss Thing said, I'm gonna buy the hand sanitizer for the bath for the bathrooms. I'm gonna buy a couple of napkins, a couple of forks and knives and spoons. Girl, I might buy the cake. Girl, that's all I got. Girl, I know that's right. Um, but Letitia is stressing out. Girl, I, you know what I think it is? Because I'm someone of a particular age. <laughs> I think I'm just over. I think I'm, tr I think at least I'm trying to get over doing things that I don't have to do that stresses me out. <laughs> like, Letitia, girl, you stressed out. You run into the bathroom. Your nerves bad. All because of a wedding that you don't have to have. Like, that's the gag. Like, you don't have to have this wedding. You really could take your black ass down to the courthouse and be done with it. And all that money that Dr. G done spent, girl, go buy you a, go buy you a car or a purse. Or put it in your savings account so when you get rid of the lead Dr. G after, after you had that baby, because we know that's what you're doing, sweetie. <laughs> girl, I clock you. Sweet Tea said, girl, so I met Sweet Tea at BravoCon, girl. She said she watched my videos, girl. She's not watching that to the day, girl. Gotta clock your teeth, Sweet Tea, girl. You up there, girl. You done scammed your way. You done scammed your black ass up to Atlanta. You know you having issues having a baby. Once you have that baby, you divorce Dr. G. Watch. <laughs> Watch. She ain't gonna be with that man for too long. So I suggest, girl, you should have took that money that Dr. G was gonna spend for, spend for that wedding Put it in a secret savings account so when you got ready to uh, leave Dr. G Girl, you'll have a little cushion to fall back on. Anyway, she's stressed out over the wedding. I think it's dumb. Go to the courthouse. You're stressing out, you're stressing out over stuff that you don't have to stress out over. Girl, why? 
Anyways, but she still they still had the wedding as we'll see that's come when it uh when it shows. Um Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie, you know, Dr. Jackie is, you know. Dr. Jackie is a workaholic, I guess. Dr. Jackie is rich, girl. Dr. Jackie got a lot of money. She has done well for herself. Um, so Dr. Jackie is at the age where girl, she should be able to relax. But I do, and, and, and I mean, then on top of that, you know, her husband, he's retired. You know, y'all know I do not like Curtis. <laughs> girl, I do not like her. I ain't gonna never forgive Curtis for how he did Dr. Jackie. I mean, Dr. that's Dr. Jackie's husband. She forgave him. I guess we need to forgive him too. But girl, I do not see it for Curtis. I ain't never saw for how he did that lady. Never. Ever since he did that lady the way he did that lady, I ain't never seen it for Curtis. And I'm never going to see it for Curtis. Um, But that's her husband. And she stayed with him, girl. Anyways, Dr. Jackie, she leaves work at 2 o'clock now. The new doctor that she hired is doing a great job. <clears throat> so shout out to Dr. Jackie. You know, she, she don't... Girl, let me shut up. Dr. Jackie looks amazing, though. What is it, Doc? This is probably the best that Dr. Jackie has looked since she's been on TV. I said Dr. Jackie looks amazing. Anyways, Paul and Eugene have a sex talk with their kids. I thought that was cute. I thought it was needed. Y'all better start talking to y'all uh, kids about sex. Y'all be wondering why they could. <laughs> you be wondering why Brenda had a baby. Girl, while little June bug is a daddy at 12. Hello? Hmm. Anyway, um, Letitia, um, she goes dress shopping. You know, the wedding is like in a month. <clears throat> so Letitia came into this show thinking that these girls are her friends, and they're not her friends at all. Letitia should have brought a couple of her friends onto the show. Right? She tells us that Toya is like her homegirl. They've gotten close. Girl, to, girl, you just met Toya because of the show. Toya is not that close to you to be taking her wedding, to, to, to take her to go with you wedding shopping. Like, it, I could see if it was Toya and maybe two of her close friends. So let me bring two of my close friends and then bring Toya. Right? But girl, you done brought Toya and Phaedra and then some girl who you met through a random Facebook app, a Facebook group. For basically your young helpers who date old ass niggas. <laughs> I guess, girl. Go for what you know. Sweet tea, girl. The people think you scamming. <laughs> and I think, girl. And I'm at the top of the list who think that. Girl. Girl, sweet tea to hit her lick. <clears throat> sweet tea said, I'm about to get this lick. I'm about to hit this lick. I'm going to get married to this old ass nigga. <laughs> girl. I'm gonna have this baby as soon as I can get my body together and get this, get get whatever I got situated going on together. These fibroids, whatever. I'm gonna pop this baby out. Stay stay with him for about a year or two. Then girl, I'm gone. Um, I don't like Phaedra, Artisha, or Toya body shaming that girl. Let me say something. I am a I am pro plastic surgery. Y'all already know, girl. I'm getting me some men 360 lipo. Um, hopefully in a year or two. And I, I'm just of the belief that if you lay on the table for whatever reason, whether you're getting a breast, breast implants, girl, lipo, BB, I don't care. You cannot turn around and body shame somebody. Like everybody on that show, it's pro it probably I'm my stomach growling. Probably except for uh, except for Dr. Jackie has had some type of cosmetic surgery. I think Kwana got a boob job, I think. We know Dr. Hamlin done went under the, uh, under the knife. Simone done, uh, went under the uh, under the knife. Um, Phaedra, I think, got a boob job and lipo. I think. I'm not for sure. I know. I think a boob job. I think Toya done got lipo and a boob job. Like, the girls done got work done. So for y'all to, to turn around and then try and body shame Letitia, I just don't like, I just did not like that at all. At all. At all. Because Letitia can have the same body as y'all if she just went and laid on the table. They telling her, talking about her butt being flat. And then I think Toya made a comment about her needing some spanks. 
Turn, you would need some spank too if you didn't go lay on the table and get sliced open like a, a fillet of fish. Girl getting tucked and pulled. I ain't mad at it. Anyways, um, Toya is having a wine party. She's coming out with her own. Girl, I don't know. There's some. I guess she's with some com- girl. I don't know. It's a little too late. Girl, I guess. Girl, Toya should have came out with this wine thing, her own wine line years ago. But I guess, girl, she's still on the show. What is Toya doing? It's a wine. She like, she's like the, I don't even know what Toya's doing. It's like a wine company. She's like the face of the company. Like, she's like, I, I can't explain it. I just know she had some deal with the wine, with the wine, with some wine people. And I think every every three months they're gonna come out with a new wine or something like that. Um, I thought it was funny when Doctor Simone said, "I don't know wine, but I know vodka, Jack Daniels, whiskey, bourbon." I know that. I know that shit. I said, "No, that's right." Um, Sweet Tea, baby. Sweet Tea had the tag on her clothes, girl. Let me tell you something. Girl, I said, oh my God. I had to tag on my clothes one time. I was in college. God was broke. I had to give a um speech in one of my business classes. And um I didn't have no money. And we had to dress up. We had to wear like a full blown suit. We had to like dress up like we were like, like, you know, like in a business meeting. I remember I went to a Ross Dress for Less. I think that shirt was like $16.99. Girl. I was making sure, you know, I'd be hot all the time, girl. So I was making sure that, girl, my neck wasn't sweat. You know, you get that dirt ring around your <laughs> Girl, you know, you get that dirt ring around your collar, honey. So I was making sure I wasn't sweating and shit. Um, and I remember I had that tag still in that shirt, honey. I remember I took that shirt right on back, right out the class, and got my $17 back. I think it was like $16.99. I think it was $12.99. <laughs> oh, I think it was like thirteen dollars, girl. Whatever it was, girl, nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine. Girl, I took it back, got my money back. Girl, I needed my twelve. I needed my thirteen dollars, girl. Girl, so when Sweet Tea got her black ass up and that tag popped out of her dress, I said, "Oh my god, <laughs> girl!" And I feel like that was a Zara tag. Did that look like a Zara tag? So of course she was embarrassed. She didn't say it, but she was embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed. Girl, I would have been embarrassed for the simple fact that I'm sitting amongst these women who are some of them, girl, are, you know, got a little bit of money, you know, um, millionaires, right? Girl, I'm sitting up in girls' hands, so I put out of her clothes. Now I'm sure they probably borrow clothes. I'm sure they probably go to the archive. What is that what Marlo's thing is called? But girl, they ain't got tags popping out of their clothes, though. I said, ooh, sweet tea, girl. This has not been a good two. The first two episodes for Letitia have been rough. <laughs> girl, when I say rough, girl, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not working out for Letitia. Hopefully it can turn around, because right now, like I said, I think she's the butt of the joke. I do. I think they all sit back and laugh at that lady. I think they call her country. I think they probably look at her as uneducated, even though I think she is educated. I think they look at her as soulful and tacky. I don't know, girl. I just, I just, I just hate it for Letitia because it's like, girl, like, like I said, I think they're laughing at her. That's all I can really say. Doctor G and Pedro meet up. Um, listen, all I'm gonna say is this. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm an advocate for women. Get your money, honey. If you marry these niggas with a little bit of money, girl, make sure if the marriage is over, walk away with as much as you can, okay? But girl, Dr. G, if you don't get a prenup, the sweet tea is in it for the money. Yes, girl, a dollar make me holler. Girl, sweet tea is in it for the money. Girl, sweet tea, you you married a fan of the show. I done told y'all last week. Girl, I said, oh, he married a fan of the show. Girl, he married a fan of the show. She watched the show. She already knew everything about you and Quad. She promised you a baby. 
Even though she knows she got five broads and a sis. <laughs> ain't, that a, ain't that some scamming shit? She done made her way to Atlanta. <laughs> Girl. She happy she got a little access to the money. <laughs> Girl. This is nice. This is nice. This is This is Girl, she done came in. She done scoped out the place. Girl. She know where everything is at. <laughs> yes! Okay! <clears throat> She trying to hurry up and have this wedding. Hurry up and get whatever she got to get fixed with her body to push out that little, uh, little Gregory Jr. And then Miss Thing going to be on her way. Girl, Greg, if you don't get a prenup, you will be one of the biggest idiots in the world. Girl, that ain't enough for discussion. Girl, if you don't get a, if you don't get a prenup, girl, you a fool. If you don't wear suits, he's gonna make your ass dry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, girl. Um, that was pretty much it. That was the episode. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all.